Stannis Baratheon and his veteran soldiers have finally reached Winterfell. And they are facing death. Death in the form of the Boltons. But they do not fear, as they will willingly give their lives for the rightful king of the Seven Kingdoms. Look at them, literally, guys. <laughs> they are... He, look at this guy, the determination in his eyes, that is a, that's not a man I'd mess with, and I can see through him now. But yes, what's up guys, and welcome back to the Seven Kingdoms mod for Attila Toast War. My name is Pope John Paul, and you are here for another epic Lord, uh, Lord of the Rings. We're not in that mod today, Pope, you fool. Another epic Seven Kingdoms battle. And it is a, uh, a quick one for you guys, as I've not put anything out uh, too recently. Uh, the Wrath of... Sp as you're watching it's this, I have not been able to organise anything with Scream for the Wrath of Sparta. Latest episode. So this is coming in as a nice, tidy little replacement until uh, then. So yeah, it's quickly put together. But I really hope you enjoy it because it is... We get to show off this amazing mod again. I've heard rumours that they are planning to do another update for it. Which is uh, to sort of commemorate... Game of Thrones with the end of season eight, so yeah. So anyway, we'll quickly uh, get into the battle. We don't. My uh, my army basically is made up of uh, just guardsmen with swords and spears, guardsmen cavalry, and then we have some uh, some crossbows. I am outnumbered, radically uh, outnumbered, but uh, I'm sure we can we can try and change the uh, course of Westeros history. And uh, and get a victory here, and take Winterfell. Winterfell is often off in the distance somewhere, I presume. I didn't choose the map. This is what I was given. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. But yeah, we'll have a quick look at the Bolton forces because we're not really seeing the Boltons. Oh God, for some reason today this is uh, not like me zooming in on a large amount of forces and edge. But look at just all the Bolton ar army here. We have lots of longbows. They have the ranged by crossbows. They have the uh, the famous spearmen that like make that formation in the Battle of the Bastards and trap the uh, free folk. That is amazing. Look at all the spears, just like and the shields. This is a true army. This is just what I love about this mod and just the Total War games, is that you can really get immersed in it and you can think, I am actually in a battle here. I am like one of these soldiers, and this is the view I can see. It's just line after line of spear, shield. Looks amazing. Look at this. Look at these guys. Oh, it's amazing. And then um, there's guards and swords in here as well. Here they are in the rear. They've got their levies in front ready to uh, take me out. And then they have the cavalry on the side. And they have a lot of cavalry because in the uh, episode, they have a lot of cavalry. And they, they do run down like most of... Stannis' troops in the end, and that's kind of how it goes down. Poor Stannis. He's one of my favourite characters as well. And he gets... Well, gets killed off. I mean, yeah, he's kind of still around in a, in this period. But he's not really... Oh, crossbows. Can you start firing at people, please? Uh, more crossbows. Keep firing at the archers. I don't know really whether crossbows are better than longbows in this, but we're going to find out, I guess. Um... I'm going to bring forward some guys here. Uh, let's also pull you guys forward. Just commit every. We might as well just commit everything because that's what they did in the uh, in the episode. I'm going to try and keep it as apt to the episode as possible. They just kind of marched forward, did Stannis' forces. They were like, I don't really care what happens uh, on the other side of this the forest. There could be an entire army, which there was. And they kind of just... Uh, they get re they just get wrecked basically <laughs> they just entirely get wrecked i'm going to try and edge myself close to this um, this flank see if i can yep just as i say that we get a uh, we get a get a get a charge can we get a nice view we can look at this in we go charge for the rightful king of westeros for stannis so yes so there's plenty of cavalry now in there. Oh my gosh, just look at all the dead horses and men already. Ridiculous. Um, I'm going to try and charge my forces in. Um, let's just charge them all in, otherwise they're going to get picked off like fish in a barrel. 
So yeah, looking at the size of the army, it's just huge compared to mine. I'm gonna have to try and assassinate um, Bruce Bolton. We have Ramsey on the battlefield as well. This might, this is him here. Ramsey is he out leading his forces? He may be. Looks like he is. Can we get a good view of that? Oh, we get to see a bit of Ramsey just before that crash. But look at that. That is just nasty. Let's try and kill Ramsey. Oh, Roos Bolton's come and come for a challenge. Interesting. Okay, you go in there. You go in there. Oh, we have swords that got left behind. Uh, we're going to have to kill these guys off first. Um, let's just flank. Oh my gosh, Ramsey's already broken some of my men. But we've broken troops here, so it's okay. We've got sp spare guys. Uh, who are these in the back? Guardsmen. What are these? Oh, these are... Oh, Guardsmen melee. We could probably break these guys. Let's... Oh! Excellent, we're seeing this chart. This instead. Well, we'll see this carnage. So, we'll have a look at this. Just the nasty. But um, I kind of wanted to see this, to be honest. <laughs> Not going to lie. I did want to see this. So now everyone's engaged. We can kind of just enjoy the battle. I'm going to try. I'll try and win it. Um, but it is going to be hard. With units breaking that break very easily. Okay, we need to pull those cavalry out. Oh my gosh, my men already broke here? Wow. And they got decimated, those cavalry. Um... Can we shoot in the back there? Shoot in the back here. Okay, Roos Bolton's now engaged. Interesting. Um, pull back. Stupid cavalry. Um, where am I? Oh, the archers are there, so we're going to have to swing. Oh, the some of theirs. Okay, they're just going to die, so we'll just keep them in. Okay, the left, le left flank is lost. Um, but we can try our best to hold the rest. I don't really know if we can, actually. My gosh, we're getting absolutely massacred. We're getting massacred, I will not lie. But yeah, we'll, we'll look at the battle lines. And watch. So yeah, this is a... This battle is basically the Battle of Winterfell, but in the Great War. Or the Great War, the War of Five Kings. Um... Which is like season 5, episode 8 or 9. Please correct me on that. Guys, uh, if you if you can in the comments, just let me know. And uh, if there's any other uh, Game of Thrones battles that you want me to do, please let me know. I'd love to do your suggestions. They, uh, well, it enjoys me when uh, you guys interact. And I would also just like to thank you for the support on the channel as well. I can't ask for the same support from my men though. What are they doing? Get to the front. No running back. Do you see Stannis fleeing? No. Stannis has actually won his battle and he's actually getting shot at as I as I speak. So let's let's run down these arches, please. Kill them all. Archers, the bane. Longbows, the bane of Westeros. I mean, these guys probably will actually break. Oh, uh, the, ar the archers probably won't break each other, but... The archers will probably break my cavalry because they're so weak, I was going to say, if I could, but I'd be wrong about that. And they've actually been trapped. Stannis has been trapped, so is this guy. We could possibly break this heavy lancer. They have... Oh, my infantry. My infantry's basically gone. Wow. Um, shoot these guys. Wow, my infantry was trash. I possibly should have upgraded it to give myself a little bit more of a chance, but... I would have expected these guys to have beaten levies. I mean, I know there's a lot of them. Yeah, the advantage was lost a long time ago. Oh, is uh, Stannis? Stannis is probably stuck here. We probably... Okay, we won that. Okay. Where could we get them now? Oh, they just got so many spears. Um, can we try and... I don't even think I could kill Roose Bolton. I'll try. Let's go for the assassination attempt. Assassination on Roose Bolton. At least we take him out. Then the warden of the north's dead. And I think Ramsay might be gone. Um, so, they have no heir. Unless that phrase already pregnant, then, then they do have an heir. Well, 
you can cheer, but the Starks are coming for you, so you will die. Prepare. I mean, well, I say pre prepare for death. It's like you probably will, you might survive. Oh, I'm ready for this charge. Oh, I'm going to miss it. Oh, there's Roos, though. There's Roos Bolton. Yeah, this model looks very good, actually. I kind of like that. And is that Stannis? That might be Stannis there. That is Stannis. Stannis and Roos nearly had a duel. Go on. Kill him. Yes, Roos Bolton just died. He fell from his... Oh, no. He's back on his horse. I swear I saw him fall from his horse. And just like that, we lose. Ah. Oh. Maybe it was Stannis that fell. I'm not sure. I swear it was Roose Bolton. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the uh, end battle results. Um, it was a valiant defeat. As you can see, we were well outnumbered by about 500 men. Uh, which is not the end of the world. I could, could have possibly done it if, I'd, if I had some more upgrading to my men. But I didn't. So I can't complain. And they had a lot of cavalry. And in this mod, the heavy cavalry just destroys. It basically insta-kills... Uh, one unit and they break straight away so you're in a tough position and as you can see with like certainly this one I think this was the unit here this one was the one that got ra uh, crashed into by Ramsey Bolton's forces yeah Ramsey died Roos Bolton I'm pretty sure died I'm pretty sure you're dead pal but anyway um, but yes so I, they were the ones that pretty much got obliterated by Ramsey most of my guardsmen did very well though my spears doing okay but it's definitely subpar Guardsmen mounted, obviously doing very well. Instantly get lots of kills. Crossbows did fairly well. Their guardsmen, oh, heavy cavalry with lances did very well. Their guardsmen with spears did excellent. They they seem to be like Bolton's like trick up their sleeve that they have, and they have a lot of uh, the Dreadfort levies did excellent actually. Wow, I'm surprised. And their longbows did okay, and Roos Bolton did okay as well. I mean, he should be dead though. He should be dead. So if you guys enjoyed that uh, battle, then please leave a like and subscribe until the next one, guys. Bye for now.